Yo, yo, yo. CPA Strength back again with another video. Strongest in the game. Got my workouts in today. We rolling, we getting it in. Come on, let's get it in. This is 129 of my classic series. 129 of accounting for beginners. Here's the complete playlist over here. Make all your dreams come true. Comment, like, share, subscribe for cookies in the mail. Let's get into this. This is, this is there's a sub, I'm gonna make a subsection of this. Journal entries made easy. We're going over the Adams family. It opened April 1st. This is our fifth or sixth journal entry. It'll be, it's down at the bottom here. The journal entry we're working on today. Always gotta go over a couple things. DCA Lure, this is, how we make, this is how we make journal entries. If an asset draw expense is increasing, we debit it. If an asset draw expense is decreasing, we credit it. If a liability equity or revenue is increasing, we credit it. If liability equity or revenue is decreasing, we debit it. I have some assets over here that we've already figured out, so I would suggest maybe you put them on your side uh, down here as well. Once you figure out, you know, hey, if, if, you, if you need to remember, you know, like, hey, cash is an asset, office equipment is an asset, accounts receivable is an asset. Let's keep on putting them down here as we go through more journal entries. Debits always equal credits when we're doing journal entries. So April 8th, we're doing this journal entry here. It is received cash from clients on account $800. Now, what do I always say with the journal entry? Let's get the cash done, so we're gonna get half of it right. We know, we know by now that cash is an asset. How much cash did we get? Received cash from clients on account $800. So we received cash. So our cash is going up in value. Our cash account is going up in value. We know from doing these and we've determined before that cash is an asset. If an asset's going up in value, we debit it. So that's gonna be our journal entry here. We're gonna debit cash for $800, and that's an asset. So see how we broke that down? Received cash from clients on account. We're not gonna worry about what on account is right now, we're just gonna say received cash. How much? $800, okay, so our cash is increasing. We know cash is an asset, we're gonna debit that $800. Now we have half the journal entry right. So I received it on account for, so it's gonna be one, one thing, we can go ahead, we can go ahead and put $800 over here. We know they have to equal. Sometimes it's one or two things, but I just feel like doing $800 right here because I know it's on account. So what account? We'll figure that out. So look, we got our debit correct. We've got $800 in our credit. So now we just need the account and uh, we're gonna get this whole question right. So how do we get, we received it from a client on account. Let's think about let's think about this journal entry a little logically here. Okay, received money on account. If we got if we if we got money incoming, uh, that means on account. It usually means on account is accounts payable, accounts receivable. Those are the two big accounts. If it was an account payable, that means we would owe somebody. An account receivable, somebody would owe us. And if we just got paid. That means someone did owe us. It would be an account receivable. On account, they paid us because they owed us. What's an account when someone owes you money? An account receivable. And if we go, to our, if we go back to our first journal entry, we had a capital contribution of an account receivable. I believe it was $1,500. So out of that $1,500, our account receivable, someone paid us $800. Our account receivable is decreasing in value because someone owed us fifteen hundred. They paid us eight hundred of that, so now they owe us seven hundred dollars. So it went from fifteen to seven hundred dollars what they owed us. So our accounts receivable is decreasing. Now I know I just put this down here because we're going to go over this and it's going to be it's an asset. Now why is an account receivable an asset? Because it's going to provide a future economic benefit. They owe it to us, they owe us money, they owe us something, and it's gonna be a future economic benefit. They owe us cash, and that cash is gonna be a benefit for our business. So we figured out on account, we received money on account, it's account receivable and it's going down. And account receivable is an asset. So let's see. 
asset. If an asset is decreasing in value, we're going to credit it. So accounts receivable, accounts receivables are credit because it's going down in value, and that's also an asset. So there, $800 debit equals $800 credit. That checks out. We have our cash. We have two assets. We have one asset increasing in value, the cash, so that's a debit. And we have an asset accounts receivable decreasing in value because the client paid us back. So the accounts receivable account is lessened. So there's our journal entry. And I know it's getting, it's getting around when this, this video is getting posted. It's about finals time. It's uh, just about December. It's final, finals are coming up for 2018. I'm gonna date the video here, we'll date the video. But anyways, just keep studying, keep practicing. I'm telling you, practice, 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 practice. Because now, after all these journal entries, you know, I, I know when it says on account, and you're receiving and you're getting money, it's, it's, accounts, it's accounts receivable. And I know accounts receivable is an asset because I've done so many. So just keep on practicing with DC Adler. You know, you won't have to write this down on your paper all the time, but I suggest you do though. Anyways, this is CPA Strength. I'm out for this one. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Deuces.